All the latest entertainment stories, let's get right to it. Welcome to Eye on Celebrity. I'm Jennifer Reed. How low can J-Lo go? Well, according to some, low enough to perform for an alleged dictator. Jennifer Lopez is being blasted for performing for the president of Turkmenistan on Saturday. A performance that also included a happy birthday serenade to the 56-year-old president. Evidently, the Turkmenistan commander-in-chief has been accused of numerous human rights violations and abuses in his country. J-Lo's manager, Benny Medina, claims that she wasn't actually there to perform for the president, that she was hired by the China National Petroleum Corporation. After Lopez finished up her set, she was told the president was in the audience and was asked to sing happy birthday to him, not knowing he was linked to any human rights issues. Medina claims they didn't do any background check on the president because they didn't know he would be there. Medina was also quick to add that after Lopez started catching so much flack over the incident, he did some research of his own and says he found that it was the former Turkmenistan president who has such a bad record on human rights. Regardless, J-Lo has issued a statement statement of apology. In an effort to maintain her sobriety, sources say that Lindsay Lohan plans to go into hiding after she's done with rehab in August. Evidently, rehab's helped Lindsay gain some perspective, along with realizing that she's powerless over her addictions, particularly in cities like New York and Los Angeles, that only feed into her demons. Lindsay's plan is to move somewhere where there's no paparazzi so she can get in touch with her true self. Sources also say that the 12-step program has been working for Lindsay and revealed that she's terrified of relapsing. Director Brett Ratner has announced that he'll be backing a lesbian candidate for mayor of New York City. The Rush Hour and X-Men director allegedly has raised over $28,000 for candidate Christine Quinn. Some say it's just Ratner trying to boost his image after the 2011 Academy Awards debacle where he proclaimed, quote, rehearsals are for fags, unquote. Ouch. So how does the candidate herself feel about Ratner's support? Councilwoman Quinn says she's not holding any grudges over what he said, stating, quote, what Brett Ratner said when he was preparing for the Academy Awards was completely unacceptable, but he went about fixing it and making it better and making sure he never does that again, unquote. Rihanna has obtained a restraining order against a man who was caught walking on her property earlier this month. The man's name is Robert Melanson, and along with the restraining order, he's charged with criminal trespassing. Melanson pled no contest to the trespassing charge and was also sent to serve six days in jail, three years of probation, $344 in fines, and one year of mental treatment. A hilarious video was surfaced online of a Saturday Night Live skit that never made it past dress rehearsal. The skit features Justin Bieber and Bill Hader, and Hader is calling it the, quote, greatest train wreck ever. In the clip, Hader plays a crusty old country western musician, and Justin Bieber plays his son on keyboards. According to Hader, the crowd for the dress rehearsal was loaded up with prepubescent girls who were clearly not going to get the sketch. And the sketch got off to a really bad start as a wall starts to fall on Justin. Hater, unfazed, doesn't break character. But in the video's commentary, Hater points out that Justin is really scared. The skit goes from bad to worse with a deadpan audience who barely laughs at any of the jokes. And then Bieber caps it all off by saying the wrong lines. The train wreck Saturday Night Live video is posted on NBC.com if you want to check it out yourself. And that's a wrap for today. I'm Jennifer Reed. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Ion Celebrity.